Hello and welcome. My name is Joe Dixon and I'm with Tech Equipment and I'm here to show you what you can do with your interactive electoral map that you've just downloaded from our Educator Resource Center. So you'll notice right now I'm actually on the Educator Resource Center and all I have to do is either click this link here or I could also click on Downloads and then download it from right here. So once I touch Electoral Map, I can touch this blue arrow here and download the file. When I download that file, what's going to happen is it's actually going to open the notebook software, which I have open and ready here, and it's going to go right into my content into Untitled folder. So now all I have to do to use this Electoral Map is actually click on the Untitled folder, click on Interactive and Multimedia, and simply drag this onto the desktop. My suggestion now would just go into full screen, move this map over just a little bit, and now you've just turned your classroom into your own interactive election 2008 center. So what you can actually do is have students come up to the board and touch the state that they feel is going to go one way or the other. So if you feel that Tennessee is going to go Republican, you would touch it once. If you feel like it's going to go Democratic, you would touch it again. And if you feel like it's undecided, you could touch it yet a third time and it would be purple. For, again, for undecided. Touch it one more time and the state is toggled back to its neutral position. Some other things that you can do with this interactive map is you can actually hide all labels. So obviously this helps to, for students to be able to identify the states without the labels, but the map still functions in the same way. So again, if we're talking about New York, is New York going to go Republican? Democrat? Are we still undecided? I don't know. You choose. You use the map. Some other things that you can do, we'll just turn the labels back on, is you can set all states to be red, all states to be blue, or all states to be undecided, and obviously lead the discussion as each one of these scenarios unfold, or create your own map and start your own discussion, or simply track day to day what goes on. You can do that because this map actually has something that we call permanence, so when you save it back into my content, or hit file and save within the file, when you open the file back up, it will be set. I'm going to clear all colors. Right to the state that you last left. So as you're going through and selecting states and determining which way they're going to go, you can actually save that and then the next day compare it to a couple of different news sources and you're ready to go. Uh, the last thing I'd like to show for you today is make sure that you understand that down here, um, as we're touching states, you'll notice that the Electoral College is being counted for each one of those states. So if Georgia went Democratic, you can see what would happen to the electoral vote. So I'd like to thank you very much for downloading the object. I ask uh, that you play with it and give us feedback. So I'm going to show you our email address really quickly. You can email us at training at techquipment.com. Please let us know what you're doing with it and how you find the map. Is it easy to use? Do you know some new features that we can add to it? We look forward to talking to you and we hope that you enjoy this demonstration. Take care.